What is it that sometimes makes you feel dull or stupid? Or less aware of life around you? Did you know that most people are operating with about 10% of their potential awareness? There's a definite relationship between your analytical power and your survival potential. As one goes down, so does the other. Put it this way, if you're well and happy and enthusiastic, your analytical power can be considered to be high in zones three and four. But if you're unconscious and in agony, your analytical power may be ranging in zone zero. The same thing happens over the span of your life. The more engrams you accumulate, the less conscious and aware you are, and the lower your potential to survive. Every engram contains unconsciousness. Unconsciousness meaning a lowering of your awareness. When an engram is received, your analytical power is shut down to some degree by the pain. It's as though your analytical mind blows its fuses, as any good machine would, to protect its delicate system from being destroyed by overload. So when an engram is received, in comes a destructive wave of physical pain, and out go some or all of the fuses of your analytical mind. Even if the duration of the pain is only an instant, there's still an instant when your analytical power is reduced. For instance, if you burn your finger on a soldering iron, there's a small instant of pain and just a small amount of analytical shutdown. But if you have surgery, you could be unconscious for hours and there would be an extreme amount of shutdown. Because your analytical mind is shut down, it doesn't know that the engram's data is coming in. So you're not consciously aware that the data exists. Everything you're perceiving is recorded straight into your reactive mind, which is rugged enough to work during moments of pain. Included in that data is the unconsciousness you were experiencing. When an engram is re-stimulated, it puts everything it contains, including this unconsciousness, into greater or lesser operation. Therefore, as part of the commands of the engram, some of your analytical power turns off. This is a very mechanical thing. It's just like turning on and off an electric light. Flip the switch and the light goes off. In your mind, this doesn't happen quite so sharply. Your analytical power is dimmed in degrees and not as much as in the original engram, but it's enough to reduce your ability to think clearly. You just feel dull, stupid, or mentally confused. Here's an example. Let's say you have an operation. You're given anesthesia and cut in the chest. This is an engram. Your analytical power has been turned off, first by the anesthesia, which is technically a poison, and then by the pain of the incision. Your reactive mind is now recording everything, including the clink of the instruments, the comments of the doctors, all the smells and sensations, as well as the condition of being unconscious. At some point in your future, when this engram is re-stimulated, perhaps by noises that sound like the clinks of the instruments in the engram, the unconsciousness of the operation will also be re-stimulated. Hey, <laughs> are you listening to me? Oh, I'm sorry, um, what were you saying? I was saying yesterday. This shuts down your analytical ability to some degree, slowing down your thought processes. Now, sometimes the re-stimulating factors in the environment are always around you, so you're continually being re-stimulated. This means your analytical power is constantly being reduced. A person who has many engrams in re-stimulation is ordinarily operating with less than a quarter of his analytical awareness. This is one of the main reasons why once these engrams are relieved, your intelligence can soar. As you've seen, when an engram gets re-stimulated, so does the unconsciousness it contains. But to make matters worse, because all of your engrams have this unconsciousness in common, when the unconsciousness of one engram gets re-stimulated, it re-stimulates the unconsciousness of all the earlier engrams as well. 
so you actually have one very long chain of unconsciousness in re-stimulation. Your reactive mind shuts down your analytical thought processes and proceeds on reaction. This can cause you to feel nervous or frightened or in a rage. What are you doing? And because your awareness is so dimmed, you don't know you're acting irrationally. The engram has taken over, manipulating you like a puppet. Your analytical mind will then justify your actions because its job is to make sure you're always right. I don't think so. Get off this field right now. The contents of your reactive mind are deeply buried under foggy layers of this unconsciousness. Release this unconsciousness, and the engrams hidden beneath it will come into view, particularly the earliest ones. Good. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. Okay. Hmm. I hear my mom saying, help, somebody help me. When an engram is contacted in auditing, the unconsciousness in it reduces the pre-clear's awareness, and he's much less able to think. I don't know. A siren. I hear a siren. In most early engrams, such as prenatals, after a first or second recounting of the incident, he may start to yawn and yawn. This means the unconsciousness in the engram is releasing, and these yawns are turning on his analytical power. Voices, voices shouting out, uh, get me out. Sometimes the pre-clear may suddenly start to trail off and mutter and almost fall asleep. This means a heavy area of unconsciousness is releasing or boiling off as auditors call it. He may fumble around, act dopey and go into a restless, dreamy sleep. He mumbles and mutters foolish things he's releasing the unconsciousness that's keeping him from contacting the contents of the engram. It's very important to let this happen without any interruption, no matter how long it takes. Don't talk to him or disturb him in any way. Just wait it out. Five or 10 minutes of boil off is not uncommon, and it may last longer. This isn't sleep, even though it may seem that way. If his engram contains a command telling him to go to sleep, he simply just goes into a smooth sleep. Boil off is different. It's a little restless and full of muttering and floundering and dreams. Soon a somatic contained in the engram will turn on. This had been buried by the unconsciousness. My side hurts. My shoulder. I understand. Please continue. There's a man's voice. This isn't. Hold your hand. Hold your hand now. He'll then run the engram a few more times, yawning a little and then brightening up. It's gonna be okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. You know, the pain is gone now. Good. Please continue. The more you're unburdened from this unconsciousness, the more you'll improve and the more analytically aware you'll become. One of the reasons it's so very important to find and erase the basic, basic engram is because it's the first engram on that long chain of unconsciousness that gets re-stimulated. Release the unconsciousness in that engram, and to some degree, you've reduced the unconsciousness all the way up the chain. You could say that the purpose of Dianetics is to awaken you in every period of your life that you've been forced into unconsciousness. With this unconsciousness released, you're able to accurately perceive the world around you. You think faster and feel happier more alert and aware, and life becomes bright again. In other words, Dianetics wakes you up. <laughs>